Oh, here we are again. Let's see, now we're on the in the fourth ward of the city of Newcastle on this lovely overcast spring day. <laughs> and we're at 914 Warren Avenue. The balloons indicate it's open house day. In fact, we're having an open house right down here. Another property down there. 924 Warren. Property just a tad more. We also have this house for sale, although we had no sign on it yet. It's 909 Warren. Just so happens we, these are realtor owned properties, most of them. Not the one we're holding open here on 914, but this property is owned by J.C. Horton Realty. And uh, it's also a very good buy in that middle price range. Payments in the three, $400 a month range. You know what? Take you a peek real quick around the outside of this. Here's the driveway. As if you didn't know, it's not a shared driveway. This is belongs to this property. Here's your furnace chimney there. You can see it's a high efficiency furnace. That's your first indicator when you see a small piece of PVC coming out the side. You know it's got a high efficiency furnace. Has a nice backyard like a lot of these homes. I think it's a 60 by 120 or 40 by 120 lot. See it right there? 40 by 125 a little bit deeper. And there's the rear of the house. It has a patio out here and a place for a pool. There's your electric. So if you want to run a pool pump, put a pool out here for the kids. Or for yourself, there you go. You got water spigot out here so you can hose off the patio or fill up a pool if you want, huh? All right, I'll try to go slow slash quick so we don't take up too much time, but this is an actual full length showing. We're gonna walk it with you. Look at these little mushroom pieces of wood. Aren't those adorable? Love them. Okay, and here we go to the concrete front porch. This has been redone, really nice. Nice brick, good quality. Somebody did a nice job on this porch here. And let's take a peek inside, all right. Well, immediately when you walk in, you notice this beautiful open stairway. That is very Attractive. Here is uh, the lovely ornate fireplace. Speaking of attractive, there's your realtor. <laughs> so that was just a joke, folks. I'm teasing. I'm not a narcissist. Okay, here's your. My wife might disagree with you, but I, but I'm not. Okay, here is the um, built-in bookcases. You can put your heirlooms in there, and you can see there's even a plug up here so if you wanted to plug in a nativity or something for the holidays check out this mirror big bright mirror brightens the house it actually uh, there's no lights on here but it really brings in the light even the blinds are down here too so I'll go ahead and pull those up and see the blinds on there okay now plaster walls and nice Carpet here on the floor, mauve carpeting. Here, look, more built-in china-type cupboard here. Drawers for your linens. <laughs> New, newer, tilt-in vinyl-clad windows. Those are got the child safety stops on them as well. Right, uh, whoops, right, right there. You can pop those out. Those will prevent the window from opening up unintentionally, or a child from sneaking out, or a burglar from getting in. There's your dining room fixture. I think what I'll do is flip this light on here if, it, if we have a light in. Yeah, there we go. So you get a little better look at the dining room. There it is. Nice fixture. And the whole view. Now in the kitchen, it's not uh, that needs a new floor in here. The carpeting is kind of older. But we can certainly have a new floor put in here for you. Not, not an issue. Here's the... Um, Double bowl stainless steel sink, along with the oak cabinets, and good condition. There's even a mud room out here, which is um, a great place to take off your shoes. Has linoleum floor, wood wainscoting on the walls. Might be a Marlite, actually. Let me see. Yeah, it's a Marlite or something. 
There's the backyard out there. East side is a wonderful place to raise a family. I've my grandmother lived on the east side and I spent many a day up here roaming around this neighborhood. Here's the gas line for your gas stove. And uh, another line here. Little place for a refrigerator, <laughs> pantry beside it. Okay. Okay, up the stairs. There's a light, okay. If I go slow, I won't breathe as heavy. <laughs> time to get to the gym, huh, folks? Okay, pastime. There's a good look at the living room from the staircase. The open staircase going up. That's a nice room. Nice size room. I can just picture that during the holidays, putting a nice Christmas tree up in there. Or place to put a menorah and whatever it is you celebrate. Neighbors there, good view of the... Up at the east side up here again. These vinyl thermal pane windows. Three bedrooms up here. It's the middle bedroom. Hardwood floors. But you're in nice shape. You can hear them clod hopping along there. Look at this closet. Huh? Check this out. Big walk-in cupboard. Excellent. <laughs> That's a big plus. And look again, hardwood floors. This would be the master bedroom, biggest room in here. Has a drop ceiling. Three windows across the front, lets in a lot of light. See the roof condition out there and the aluminum gutters and dot spots. Here's the cupboard for this room. Another nice size cupboard. Lots of times these cupboard, these rooms have um, these older homes built in the 30s, 40s. They've got no cupboards at all, closets. This one, great cupboard space. Look, nice beautiful hardwood floors again in here. This is the smallest of the rooms. This one has a little smaller cupboard in here, but still deep enough to put your clothes in. This is a great children's room. Cable line here, and the walls you can see are in super condition. Okay. Somebody's trying to call me on my phone, which I'm taping this video with, so let's see how bad that messes us up. Here's, a, here's the bathroom. As if you didn't know, huh? There's the vanity. And of course, your GFCI, you can pop that and test it. You can see and reset it. That's for safety so that you don't get electrocuted with a hair dryer falling in the tub or something. That's not to say it's impossible, but it's supposed to be. I wouldn't want to be the guinea pig. But, uh, I understand the guy that invented it actually did that. Sat in a tub and with a swimsuit on and threw a toaster plugged in it and it kicked off and never even shocked him. He had a lot of faith in his invention. <laughs> I do too, just not that much. There's your tub surround and your tub needs a you know, door in here which we can get in there, no problem. There's the vanity mirror, the medicine cabinet that opens newer, you know, white design there. Now, that's uh, that's it for the upper floor. There's no, no uh, attic to speak of. Just probably a scuttle to get up there, I would think. But there is a full basement. I'll show that to you right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'll turn this light in here so that... Oh, that's not the right light, is it? Where is the light in here? I'll find it. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. One, two. Put the power's on, and we're heading down. Okay. I'm careful going down the steps in these older houses. The steps are steep for me, but this one's not too bad. And a nice high ceiling. Here's a real plus, though it may not seem like it. Just an old basement in the video. It's nice and high. See, my reach is about eight foot. So you can see this is about seven feet. You can stand up down here if you're, you know, six foot five and you don't have to bang your head on the board. That's really nice, believe me. And, uh, those of you who've ever hit your head on a basement ceiling, you know what I'm talking about. Here's your laundry hookups, your city water, your gas meter, 
gas coming or water coming in here as well. There's where your dryer vents over here. You see we have a newer Goodman gas forced warm air furnace and it's high efficiency. There's your chimney, your vent and and your uh, chimney going out and here's your hot water tank. There's the vent going out the old chimney on that and here's a shower. Doesn't look like a shower, but if you hang a curtain, voila, it's a shower. Some storage cupboards and a porcelain throne down here. It's nice to have an extra bathroom. It's really, a, you know, it's got a, got a commode. You have a shower. This is really a great place to clean up if you're up, you know, outside doing some work and you don't want to mess up the upstairs bathroom. There's your breaker box. It's not, um, it's not newer, you know, but it's, uh, it's a rushmatic. Pushmatic, rather, I mean, and uh, it's, um, but it, they are breakers, so you don't have to change old fuses, you know, which is excellent. Okay, and there is 220 here. There's your 220 for your dryer. So you can also put in, if you'd like, you know, uh, uh, definitely put in a oven range up here instead of a gas one. You could definitely have a electric one, okay? <clears throat> the, 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 that's all, folks, as Porky Pig once said. And I just want to thank you for coming and uh, clicking on the link and checking out our video here. Really appreciate you stopping by. Take another walk outside in this beautiful day. You check out this neighborhood one more time. There we are on the Upper East Side, 914 Warren Avenue. If you lived here, why well, you'd be home right now, and I'd be intruding on your front porch <laughs> anyway J.C. Horton Realty 40 years of service with a smile stop back at and visit our site soon and often at www.jchortonrealty.com odds are you're there right now if you're watching this video and we appreciate that so much have a wonderful day and a wonderful spring depends on when you see this video we uh we really hope you enjoyed the time we spent together on this saturday it's saturday here and what day you're watching it but it's saturday the day i'm taking this and god bless you have a wonderful time wonderful day